Is this the throne? I don't really know what the throne looks like. Okay, apparently this is the throne. Any pieces though? I don't want to miss any pieces. Any shard slate hieroglyphic things. <laughs> this chair is huge. Paman feels just like sitting on it is going to make Paman super great. It doesn't work that way. I want to send it too. Sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you won't end well. I may disapprove of a tart like King Deshret, but your thoughts might be a little too audacious, even so, Paimon. Anyway, nothing happened. Huh? Is something lacking? Or perhaps you made a mistake somewhere? Hmm, Jabral did mention that only the Chosen may kneel before the throne. Maybe we really have to kneel before the throne? But I'm a researcher of the Academia. I can't kneel before a tyrant's throne, and it's an empty throne too. Don't worry, it won't be empty once Paimon sits there. You're seriously- Jet, please, help me with Paimon. Jet? Wait, where did Jet go? She was still with us just a moment ago, right? Samael. Jabrail, are you still refusing to admit that you are took say deep down? Self-deceiving makes no difference to people like us, you know it. Alamar's throne is right before us. Aren't you obsessed with it too? No mere grain of sand can reject the golden slumber. Alamar's promise is pa the paradise that all of us dream of. Did you think betraying the Tukmasei would be enough to destroy or deny your nature? Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd be back. Little Jet, do you see it now? Once you laid eyes on Alamar's throne, your dear father forgot everything, even you. Her father is not required to think about her 24-7. In fact, I'd be creeped out if he did. That was my mistake. It has nothing to do with him. <laughs> you're just as stubborn as your father, but your talkativeness... I guess you've gotten that from Ufaira, huh? Samael, we've resolved everything... We've solved everything for you and brought you to the throne. Your dream should be fulfilled. Jed is useless to you, so why keep her? I see, you're finally showing your true colors, Hatchabrail. Use their plans against them. You're just one of them, like I expect. Oh, shut up. Haha, <laughs> so this is your choice? Looks like your companions never really trusted you at all. Dear Azad, your expedition should be over now. We've explored the entire Kajni suit, and you now have all the knowledge you need for your paper. We should start considering how to get back safely now. I promise to protect you until the end, and I'll keep my word. Such greed. Huh? What? Getting out of safely is considered greedy? Alright. Jabrell, I thought I knew you, but I really don't understand what you're doing right now. You're trying to shoulder every burden, your daughter's safety, that researcher's commission, and even Alamar's secrets. I thought you learned your lesson about greed when Ufira died. Oh, sorry. Or should I say, I taught you that lesson when Ufira died? Or, perhaps you learned your lesson, and you're prepared to pay the price now. Let's see which one amongst you then will be the price you pay. Can we just kill him and be done with it? This way to keep saying weird stuff. Paimon's getting confused. Haven't we uncovered everything? And what are Alamar's secrets anyway? And the golden slumber? Aren't those just desert superstitions? Things that are too vague. There's no research value in them. I say anyone who gains King Deshret's wisdom is permitted to enter the golden slumber and enjoy eternal peace and happiness there. Besides, ignorant children, who could take that seriously? <laughs> you third-rate researcher. Ugh, if a fire were alive, she would have written multiple books by now. You're the one who killed her. Someone like you has no right to talk about Alamar's legacy. Enough. If you wish to sit on Alamar's throne, then do as you please. I won't stop you, and I won't let Tirzad do that either. I opened the path to Alamar's throne to you, and I used Tirzad and Lunara to make Kajnu's suit manifest itself. I don't think I owed tears out anything. He wanted a paper that could shock the academic world, and now he has material that no one else has. I've helped him accomplish his objective. Now, give Jet to me and we'll be even. Hmm, I'm really curious. Why are you always so evasive when Alamar's secrets are mentioned? It's an empty throne. Anyone could sit on it. An unqualified and mediocre person wouldn't, won't become great just by sitting on it. That prayer is the key. But of course you know that. <laughs> Well, it'll make sense if you were planning to return alone. Unfortunately, unless you're willing to pay with that little jet's life. Nothing is more important than family. I'm a little confused, but we'll keep going. Yeah, Pa may not know what the secrets of Alamar he keeps mentioning are, but it doesn't matter if it's a truth or if it's superstition like Tirzad says. Both strength and endless wealth are nothing before family. What kind of prayer is that much appeal? I refuse to believe it. But I don't mind listening in. It won't hurt to include it in an anecdote in my paper. If something like that can be exchanged for Jet's safety, then stop hesitating and tell him. To be honest, I expected that we might have to fight for our lives to get home, so isn't it great that we can resolve this peacefully? 
I never expected to see such intense superstition. I guess my knowledge is still lacking. Perhaps the superstition linked to King Deshret as it is may be worth studying after all. O oh, stars high above the wasteland. I told you, Carmen. Neatly. Huh? But, but isn't this... Father? Jabral, why? Get ready. O oh, stars high above the wasteland. Ha! <laughs> I see. Smell repeats the prayer. What's this? No, no, he looks so strange. He fell asleep. No, wait, he isn't breathing. Did he just die? Did he just die? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, this is hilarious. He got what he wanted. He's inside the golden slumber that Alama promised. The eternal dreamland. So that's what you meant by the eternal dreamland? What happened to Samael? None of you will leave this place alive. No, no, get ready for battle. What an absolute idiot. I was way too far away for that to be effective. My bad. Barbados, guide us. Don't leave us for travel. Do your worst. Surrender. So I cannot politely get rid of your uh, shield because it's built upon my own essence of strength. My main is lightning, so I can't actually get rid. Of I can't get rid of your shield. I'm just gonna have to like whittle away your health. Normal way. Oh, you're still alive. Great. Okay, sir. Fine. You want Sino? We're gonna get Sino. Their penance is due. Do your work. Like that. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Hear my prayer. Surrender. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Through me, justice is served. You stay condemned. Oh, way too early. I've missed every single one of us, but what the fudge are you here for? What even are you meant to be? I've never seen you here before. Father, what's going on? That prayer. Jabral, you mentioned that Jet's mother deciphered it from Alamar's text. I didn't expect it to be used here. But is Alamar's golden slumber a way to send his believers into eternal sleep? That makes it more terrifying than I ever imagined. I really should get back and update the collective knowledge of the academic world. Yeek! Thank God Ness Pyman didn't sit on that throne. Guess sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you really doesn't end well, huh? I have so many questions. If I made this inference about Alamar's promise, those who offer the correct prayer to Alamar will be granted entry into the golden slumber. But it's a one-way trip. No one could that's great, he's just gonna decompose there on the throne. Beautiful. No one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality. It seems that Ufira was right. Smell is gone forever. I must admit that it was a very risky gamble. But all that matters is Jed is safe. That's right, everyone's safe, and that's the most important thing. Hmm. Let me summarize the overall situation now. Jed's back safely, and Smell's subordinates have been defeated. Smell. He got his wish, didn't he? If he wasn't such a villain, I'd even feel like thanking him. Anyway, uh, since he's in the paradise he dreamed of, I don't need his permission to use him as a case study in my paper, right? Ha, all's well that ends well, eh? 
I, Tirzad, hereby announce that this archaeological expedition has been completed successfully and has yielded great results. Is it really over? This doesn't feel real. Actually, it isn't over. I mean, the minimum requirement in the commission was to escort me safely back to Ari Village, right? Mm, that's true. Tirzad's commission isn't over, so I can't slack off just yet. Father and I will be free once we escort Tirzad back safely. <laughs> then we can go wherever we want. Oh, I'm not talking about the desert, by the way. I mean, literally anywhere. It's fine, Jet. I'm willing to accompany you wherever you want to go. As for Rufira, I'll tell you about her, if you're willing to listen. That's her research notes, too. But I don't know if you'll be interested in those. I was worried about losing them, so I didn't bring them along. I left them in some luggage with Bonifaz. Once we return to Aru Village and get our luggage. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Um, does anyone else feel like something's wrong? Something's coming this way. Oh, dear. Oh dear. What's going on? How could this be? Is it Smail? Oh no. If he gained Elamar's wisdom, then even if it's just for an instant, he would have gained Elamar's authority. We must leave immediately. Oops, this way. Definitely this way. Um, how do I get out of this place in one piece? Ah, it's already coming. Oh, fuck me. I don't have time for your games right now. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Uh, let me out. Where's the exit? I'm not even reading this text. Okay. That looks like a, a wall blocking my exit. Oh dear. The door is shut. No, what do we do? We must defeat Zamal, who has stolen Alamar's power. But his physical form in this world must have been destroyed already. So that makes him formless. Then how can we defeat him? Don't tell me he's invincible in the eternal dreamland. Unless someone goes to where he is. But that would remain permanently dying. Unless someone stops and defeats him in the eternal dreamland. I must. I must protect. No! Jabrail! Don't do that! Father, but... How are you going to come back? Didn't you say that no one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality? There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe until the end. I can't let you all die here. No, Jabrail! What are you doing? What is this place? Jabrail, <laughs> you're here. I knew it. I knew it. We are the twin blades of Tutmose, our lives dedicated to uncovering the secrets of the golden slumber. You took a long way around, but it doesn't matter anymore. We've met again here at the end of that path. I don't know how me as a traveler am witnessing this when it's happening in a completely different plane of reality. You were just lost before, but the sands of the Tukmusei always return before Alamar's throne. Like the dehydrated thirst from a spring, only the illusion of the eternal oasis can relieve our agony. I'm inside. The golden slumber promised by Alamar looks like a shit place. Oh, you're not us yet. It's fine. Soon there'll be no you. You will become part of us. This meaningless talk will be unnecessary then. No. No. I'm here to stop you. My mission is to protect. I must protect Jet and the others. Why? Why care about such trivial matters? Great power is right before you. It's like a torrent in the desert. Did you feel it? You should obey. Alamar's will is our will. The Tutma says... Did I say Al... I said Alamar. Uh, dreams are our dreams. No. Ufara taught me that I'm not just some part of you. I'm an independent person. I have my own dreams. I won't go back. Jabrail, why don't you understand? Love is just a fever. I even eliminated the infection for you. Has the heat made you lose your mind? You're the one who's lost their minds, Samael, not me. The golden slumber that Alamar promised us isn't like this. It's not a sad place with only we and not no I. I'm not sad. I know what I want. My dream is to be one with the Tukmose. Yet you, the warmth of another. I despise such feelings. It makes you weak. Your betrayal was like a blade in my chest. But I obtained Alamar's wisdom. And that wound I thought would never heal is nothing but a memory now. You've realized it too, haven't you? That drowsiness. Alamar is summoning you into the dream. Stop arguing meaninglessly and with me. Come. Fall deep into deep sleep. When you awaken again. No. When we awaken again, nothing will be left standing in our way. The Tutmose's dreams will be fulfilled. No, you're my enemy. My dream is, is, we are the dunes and you are a grain of sand. We are one. You know this. No, I'm the treacherous grit. I abandoned the Tutmose and I chose a different path. 
You took the long way around, but you reached the correct destination. Admit it, this is the dream hidden within your heart. I wanted to return to this place? Yes, you did. There is no hatred here, only eternal peace. No bitter salt water, only an endless spring. Sleep, Jabrail. Sleep. Father, father. His body has disappeared. He's not coming back. Jet. This can't be. I refuse to believe it. He always keeps his promises. He promised to tell me about my mother. That's true, he did promise that. All of you heard him. He wouldn't lie to me. He never lies to me. I refuse to yield. Jed is right. I'm a man of my word. I promise to protect them. Until the end. I see. Your ties to the mundane inhibit you. Just like that infection, I just have to eliminate them. The door is open. It must be Jabrail. It's still shaking, Jet. It's dangerous here. We can't stay, or else the sacrifice would mean nothing. Leave if you want. Father. Father will be back. He'll be so sad if you couldn't find me when he wakes up. I won't leave him. <laughs> How foolish. Is there a reason there's like literally no sound happening right now? It's very anticlimactic. How foolish. But these trivial troubles will vanish with the wind soon. I won't let you win. <laughs> I finally get it. Smell, you're right. There will be no me, only us. But you're not the only one who can decide our will. You can't be serious. Samael, the twin blades of Tutmosa are equal, so die here with me. Jet, forgive me. You'll have to go on alone from now on. No, I'm sure you won't forgive me. After all, it's my first time breaking a promise to you. I hear the voices of many here. I think I hear Ufire here too. She's humming the song of her home. Oh, if only you could hear it too. Why couldn't I have told you a little more about her? Her soft curly hair and the innocent smile of hers. I have so many things I want to share with you, but I'm no longer able to distinguish if they are my memories or our memories. Sorry. It's kind of sad. The door's closed. Did you get June, you literally got like two feet outside the door. You think you would have gotten a little further? Thank goodness you made it out in time. Jabral protected us, but he... Father. What the hell are we going to do with the Ben-Ben? It must be Jabrail who opened the door for us. Without him, we wouldn't have been. He would have been. He fulfilled his promise. This place may not be completely safe. Let's meet up with Nathgal's group and head back to Ari village. Refusing to give up, Jed examined the entrance to Kajni's suit time after time, only to find the door tightly shut. Door tightly shut. Behind it was dead silence. Things had happened and were beyond redemption. Jed, now having but to accept reality, put away Jabrail's axe carefully. It is the only thing he has left behind. Well, he's got the notes back with Nakhtagal. We finally managed to persuade her to come back with us to the camp. We then informed the merchants of what happened and returned to Ari village. You teleport me? Yes, you are. To think that something like that happened, and what Arkham bless us all. I'm really sorry about what happened to Jabrail, but at least all of you returned safely. I think we may have to reconsider our career as traveling merchants. The desert is a hundred times more dangerous than I expected. Even someone as capable as Jabrail. And nobody like me doesn't have that many lives. Yeah, but he kind of went somewhere he shouldn't have gone. It's kind of a different scenario. This would be bad timing, but I have to ask what all of you plan hmm, about what all of you plan to do now. I believe Tirza will be returning to Samaria City. Me? Yes, I will. I should head back and start writing my paper. I must record everything that I witnessed. But not for academic glory or anything. Jabrail did as he promised he would, yet I, I've always been avoiding my responsibilities. Now it's my turn. I too must shoulder my responsibilities. And as for the stone slate, I've prepared a regular rep uh, replica for reference. As for the original, I hope I'll keep it safe for me. I'm not trying to run from danger. It's a commission, you hear it? A commission. Just think about it. I'll be completely occupied with my papers soon, but an adventurer like you will never stop adventuring, right? If you make new discoveries during this time, wouldn't we make the perfect team? The thesis material shall be mine, and the more are yours. That's perfect. We're making the best use of all our resources. And Jet, what do you plan to do now? Do you have any friends you can rely on or something? Father, he was so busy he never had the time for anything. He didn't leave anything behind, just that axe he always used. Father said he hoped he could meet her again in the Eternal Oasis. He said that day was still very, very far away. Liar. He lied to me and to my mother. He should keep his own promise. Now I have to fulfill it for him and 
take his axe and mother's research notes, which he kept with his luggage. To the eternal oasis. I hope they'll find true peace there. Is there anything we can do to help? Thank you, but it's all right. While I was taking a quick look through my mother's research notes, I noticed what seemed like casual diary entries on the edge of the pages. I found out that my father is from this tribe called Tanit, so I plan to look for them. Perhaps they can tell me about my father. What about your mother, though? Sorry, I just... I'm having... I'm sorry. Let's give her a moment to herself. Yeah. Anyway, Nagdegal and I will be staying here for a while. We'll think long and hard about our future. We should be staying in Sumeria for some time, too. Paimon just has this feeling that there are so many more secrets to uncover. Yeah, but we haven't upgraded the slate. I don't even know how to upgrade the slate. It's been too long, I don't remember. Come to us if you need anything. We'll do our best to help you. And good luck in your adventures. Golden slumber complete to be continued. I'm sorry, back it up. What? What do you mean to be continued? Oh, y'all don't have quests, but she does. And someone else does. Somewhere. Oh, up there? A weird spot. Okay, so there are a bunch of quests here. But none that continue the golden slumber. I feel like I need to continue the golden slumber. Oh, it's you. Is there anything else you want to discuss? Let's talk about King Deshret. To be honest, I'm starting to doubt the credibility of the articles I've read. That prayer. It gives me a strange feeling that I can't put a finger on. And Samel too. What he said. I think I should study it further once I get back. Of course. My main mission is still to write my paper like I originally planned. Sorry, I'm still not very good at controlling my emotions. Don't apologize for that. You, your father literally just died. Yeah, we know you're going through a tough time. Thank you. May your travels be smooth. Oh, Paimon hopes that everything will go well for you too. Paimon's sure it will. There's got to be more to it than that. What do I do with the slate? Ah, uh, it's a key item, yeah? <laughs> Using the map in open... What? Oh, that's just finding Kajni suit, which we did, right? Does this mean we've done it and we've done it, right? So now I need to go do the primal barrier. The energy barrier that bars outside of energy can be passed easily if you have special kind of clearance. Do I have the clearance for this? I'm so confused. Complete. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Find the place where Deshra's wisdom is concealed using the map in Opet Hall. But Opet Hall is underground. So you can get from here to Kajnus Kaj 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 Kajnisut. Right? No oh well, I'm thinking that means we've cleared it. I'm very confused. Christmas vacations through at the Oh, really? Follow the site's guidance and use special clearance to unlock these devices and you may yet reach places that Okay. Oh, that is unusual. Some of the devices in Kitchen's runes will allow you to increase the clearance level of the Scarlet Sand Slate. The higher the clearance the slate possesses, the more devices to control, which will allow you to enter hours you've never been able to enter before. Uh huh. Doesn't really mean much to me, but sure. Okay, it looks like there is actually a, a, an extra part to this quest. 
but it's a separate quest. Oh, there's another one. Um, and I have to wait for daily reset, so I can't do it just yet. Um... Because apparently when you travel to here, I'm going here anyway because Candace needs to heal. If you go here, it triggers a quest somehow, some way. Um, but I need to wait for daily reset. So we can't do that. Oh, hey, we had enough. Woot. What did I get me? Probably nothing useful. Prima gems? And it's Murray's Shrine of Depth Kit. Yeah, but I don't know where any are to unlock. So that's not particularly useful. Yeah, it's okay. So I have to remember that I have to come here for another quest. I'm sure as hell not going to remember that in the least. I'm absolutely not going to remember that. Anyway, so. Does this mean I have to go here to the primal barrier? No? I'm so confused. How, what, what are these and how do I do them? Because I've done all four. I've completed everything I was supposed to complete. Where, where, where do I go? What, what do I do now? I don't understand. So I don't know which ones I've actually done and which ones I haven't. But apparently one of the things you can do is... Oh dear. Oh dear, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, never mind. Um, I need to have the quest that I get on I the daily reset to actually trigger a location uh, no matter what opening takes, to continue to the next level on the tired. slate. So as much as I was just about to try and continue with the slate, that's actually not gonna happen because it's not going to work. So let me go do some of these quests. <sighs> I know I need to complete the Aranara quest line and whatnot, but you know, let's just keep going here, although I probably should eat first.